Hello, Ravens fans, and welcome to another season preview. I'm Aaron Schneider, the Sports Information Director at Anderson University, and joining us for our women's basketball preview is head coach John Chen. How are you doing today? Doing well. Thanks for having me on, Aaron. Absolutely. So first to kick things off, I'm actually going to set you up with a meatball right down the middle of the plate that you can take 450 feet. Now, tell, um, tell us what Catch Our Whiff is. Oh, yeah. Catch Our Whiff. It's right behind me, actually. Look at that. Yep. Um, uh, Catch Our Whiff stands for our three pillars of our program. So it's going to be work hard, integrity, and faith. And that's what we're trying to grow in every single day, whether it's on the court or off the court. So um, just, you know, part of our program, and that's what we want it to be. And, you know, catching our whiff means we're out in front. So. All right. So now let's now let's talk about what your goals slash expectations are for this season. Yeah, another sophomore for me. Thanks. Appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I mean, goals and expectations, like we tell our team, obviously we're super competitive and we, we want to win and all that other stuff, but it's just to get better each and every day. That's our goal. Um, every day, if we can get 1% better um, through practice, through becoming a better team, um, whatever it might be, um, trying to be better teammates, trying to work together, um, trying to get it done in the classroom. Um, our goal each and every day is just to get 1% better. And uh, I think we've been doing that since we started October 15th. So I'm really excited to uh, start up on Friday. All right. Um, what would you say your team strengths are at this point? Um, I think we're super competitive. This is probably the most competitive team I've coached, um, whether it's a shooting drill, whether it's running sprints or whatever it is. We just don't like to lose. And I think that'll serve us really well. Uh, we work really hard. Uh, we've been grinding every morning. And, and so I think those are some of our strengths. But the competitiveness, I think, will go a long way. We've got a lot of competitive fire. All right. So now let's now let's break down a roster a little bit. Tell uh, breaking down your uh, key, your returners that you expect to make an impact. Yeah, I mean, uh, we'll start with the obvious, I think. You know, we have Lex and Peyton. Um, they're probably two of the top 10 players in our league. Um, and I think they do a really got, good job of not only the basketball stuff, but they lead us really well. And there are two captains this year. Um, and then we have Jade, who, you know, is great. She's one of our juniors. Um, she is learning a new position. So she's coming along really well. I think she's going to really thrive in, in what we want her to do. Um, she, can, she can really shoot the rock. Um, and then Carly McKinley, our sophomore class, um, they're playing really hard. They're, they're both bigs for us. Um, and so Mac is like a stretch four and, and Carly can do work down low. So I think those guys are all going to really have great seasons. Um, and then we're hoping to get Brooklyn and Cassie back really soon. Um, and I think that rounds off our returners, but Castle provide a lot of energy um, and just really help our guard rotation. And same with Brooklyn. I think right now they're being excellent teammates on the sidelines and I know they're itching to get in there. So hopefully we'll have them back sooner rather than later. Yeah. Okay. And now we have it. Um, we have a decent sized recruiting class coming in. Tell us a little bit about the newcomers you expect to make an impact this year. Yeah, no, I love our freshman class. I think um, they're, they're a fun group. They bring a lot of energy to practice. Um, I think they're all going to play a special role this year, um, especially with the injuries that have already hit us this season. Like they're going to step up and, and fill fill roles probably uh, that they weren't expected to when they got here. Uh, but I think they're having fun in our offense and our defense and they're really picking it up uh, fast. And I think, you know, the, the ones that are really going to make, I mean, they're all going to make huge impacts, but I think, you know, Bryn is high energy all the time um, and, and she's going to play point for us. Um, and then we got Reese who can just stroke it. Um, Al will play inside for us long athletic runs court really well um and so those guys are all going to be huge factors for us early on um jay's coming off an injury um she hurt her foot she's still in a boot so we're hoping to have her back um kenzie's dealing with a back injury so hopefully we'll have her back soon um and then maya has been just doing leaps and bounds she's getting better every day i love what she brings her energy and enthusiasm she'll be another point guard for us and really help control the pace for us so and she's defensive minded which i really like because that's what i am so um all of them though playing huge roles for us and like i said hopefully we get uh kens and jay back soon 
All right. So now we um, now we can go into our season opening match. We are here on Friday at 5 p.m. We take on the Webster University Gorlocks. Um, tell us a little bit about what you expect out of them. Yeah, uh, we haven't dove too far deep in the scout yet, but I know um, they're athletic. They press, they run, they got everybody coming back. So they're a really experienced squad. Um, they're going to be a really good test for us, um, especially early on with all the new pieces and us trying to put everything together. Um, I expect them to come in here and just blitz us from, from the tip. So we'll see how we handle adversity and how we can uh, battle that. But they're, they're a veteran squad coming in here. So it'll, we'll have our hands full for sure on Friday. All right, and then finally, what does your team need to do this year to be successful? Yeah, like I said um, already, I mean, we just got to get better each and every day. Um, I mean, even our returners, they're learning something brand new. Um, and, and so we're just all trying to put it together. And um, slowly but surely we're doing it, and, and we're making strides each and every day. But we just got to keep competing and, and keep trying to get better. I think it, it starts with – being great teammates and, and that's what we're learning right now is how to be a great teammate um, how can I think outside of myself and really pick someone else up um, and that's what we're focusing on right now and I think you know as the season progresses that we'll keep doing that and we'll keep growing together we'll keep understanding the offense we'll understand the defense a little bit better and, and we'll keep piecing it together um, but our thing right now is not to be in a hurry I mean we don't have to be peaking until February. And so that's our timetable. Um, and we're going to try to stay focused on how can we play our best basketball in February um, and not necessarily what happens on Friday night, even though obviously we want to win. But uh, we have bigger goals in mind and, and we understand that it's a process. and We have to take our time, um, even though I try to microwave everything. Uh, that's just not how it works. We got to we got to be patient. We got to be slow and we got to be steady and keep it keep it together. All right. Well, I think I've covered the questions I wanted to. Ravens fans, thank you for tuning in. Be sure to follow along with any more previews and any more content we may be putting out on YouTube. Of course, follow along with your women's basketball season this year, um, team this year. They are, they are here on Friday at 5 p.m. for their match against Webster. And then, of course, follow them along through throughout the year as well. Coach Jen, um, thank, thank you for joining us and good luck this year. I appreciate it, Aaron. Thanks for having us. And can't see, can't wait to see the the packed house on Friday night. Let's get it.